Alright, so based on the responses I got on my ThinkPad keyboard video, I thought I'd do one on an EliteBook um, keyboard, which is another business class keyboard. Um, these mechanisms are slightly different from a ThinkPad in that they don't have a plastic brace for mounting the scissor mechanism. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll just remove another key. What I like to use is just a pick. You could probably use your fingernail or something, but this is what I like to use. What you're going to want to do is just get under the edge of one key, just like this, and pry up, and it'll just come right off, just like that. If you look at the back of these keys, if you can see that here, they have little clasps, and that's what it mounts on the scissor mechanism. Okay. I'll go ahead and give you a close up. Okay, so if you notice, you'll see that there are two upward facing hooks on the top and two downward facing hooks on the bottom. Okay? And there's a scissor mechanism which is right that goes right in there. So for this one, let's flip it around. So for this one here, you'll notice that there are some D hooks like that, and they hook right on these top ones. Okay? So they just drop right in and hook down, and you press down, and you can just press it back in. Okay? Now, for removing them, it's much the same. Uh, the way I do it is I take a pick and I just kind of pull down so I can just pop it off just like that. That's how it comes off. Now, if you manage to get one of these uh, apart, if something rips one of your keys off and the scissor mechanism comes apart, you'll notice that this scissor mechanism is a little bit, it's actually a little bit more sturdy than the ThinkPad one. There are little axles that go into the larger part of the scissor. So on this small piece, you'll notice that there's a little axle that goes into small holes on the outer, let's see if I can get this on the camera, probably not, but there are small holes in the sides of these larger pieces. So to get it back in, you're going to want to, I, that's what I have these kind of forcep looking things for because if you try and force it with your fingers you'll probably wind up snagging yourself with your pick. But just go ahead and replace. Alright, I'm going to try and get a better video here of how we can um, replace the scissor mechanism, put it back together. So what you're going to need to look at here is this little axle and you're also going to need to note that on the back side of these keys you'll see two protrusions on the small piece and on the larger piece you're going to have two indentations. Okay? So what you want to do is uh, get the protrusions on the small piece and flip them onto the um, where the indentations are on the larger piece and then line up the axles right where the holes are for the axles. Okay? So line it up off center like that, and then it's going to slide diagonally, diagonally into place. Like that. Okay, just squeeze them together. Okay. And then it should lie flat like that. Okay, and then you're going to take your keyboard, um, and you're going to hook. the D side 
onto the hooks like that. So you just kind of put it down like that and then press and it's back on. Now on on my other video I didn't go into how to do arrow keys which are slightly different. So if you look at the arrow key mechanism here I'll see if I can get some light on it. Um, the mechanism is pretty much the same as the larger keys, but you'll notice that there are two hooks on one side facing out like this, and one larger hook facing like this. So basically, like if you were to spin it like that, it'd be the same thing, it's just sideways a little bit. Uh, now the only thing with this is you'll probably want to start hooking the scissor mechanism on the single hook side and then press it down. It's a little bit um, harder but um, it just pops right into place like that. And then for the key it's the same thing. They have the same if you can see that the same mechanism like that line it up and it pops right down like that so it's the same thing basically um, all the keys are going to be very similar so once you understand the mechanism it won't be too and the last part I'm going to go through is the space bar because uh, some of these larger keys will also have these braces underneath it um, really there's not much to say about the space bar other than making sure that your uh, little braces like these are clipped in the right places Okay, so I'll just get a close-up of that so you can see where yours are supposed to be. Make sure they're not bent. If you take these off, you can just run your finger across it and that'll you'll be able to feel if it's bent or not. Uh, on the keyboard, there should be one plunger. This rises it and then you'll have the two scissor mechanisms for easing it down. Um, these scissor mechanisms are the same ones found here just sideways so that should be easy to replace and then once you uh, once you have this you can go ahead we'll, I'll show you how to put it back in alright so to put your space bar back on what you're gonna want to do is pop out these things okay so pop them out like that and then line up the longer side the longer brace with the top and just put it like that okay and what you're going to want to do is make sure these bars are in these holes so go ahead and line them up and just start to fold it like you're going to kind of close a close a laptop or something and I'm not sure if you can see it uh, yeah so these little bars are going to go into these hooks push it in and then slowly start to close this, making sure that as you close it, you're pushing in on the smaller side. Okay? So once you get it to a certain point, those little down facing bars are going to start to buckle under. And as they buckle under, they're going to hook the other uh, little rings. So right now, I've got it just so that both braces are hooking the hooks on the keyboard and then with even pressure press down okay and as you press down that's going to get it seated on those scissor mechanisms and then as you see uh, space part works great okay so that should cover uh, all the keys on the elite book um, it's really pretty simple uh, once once you get it once you tear into it um, it's not too hard at all alright thanks for watching